Brothers and sisters, welcome to day 21 of our Advent retreat in the School of the Holy Spirit. Yesterday I spoke about that these days we're going to look at the criteria by which we discern and know that God is speaking in our soul by the power of His Spirit. One of the first things though to really set out is a very important part of this criteria which really will come from experience and it is acquiring what we could say is a spiritual sense. You see, it's, it's kind of like acquiring a familiarity or an experience of God's voice. And of course, this is only met by our faithfulness, by actually following the Lord. The Holy Spirit will start to imprint on in our soul uh, footprints, you could, if you wish, of the beloved, of, of, of knowing him, knowing he's passing, knowing that his voice is speaking. The, the bride will recognize the voice of the bridegroom, Christ. You know, the church is the bride of Christ. And so Christ speaks, uh, speaks through his spirit, his spirit of love. And through through experience and through faithfulness, it's really one of the best ways by which we acquire what I'm calling this spiritual sense. And this is this idea comes really from the saints and the six, especially St. Thomas Aquinas, who speaks of a sort of an instinctus, uh, which is like this spiritual instinct. What What some people might call a gut feeling. Um, but the thing with the gut feeling, it has to always be discerned, just like any of these promptings, because some people's guts are badly formed, or in other words, their, their conscience or their minds are badly formed, and they may just be listening to their feelings as opposed to, to the voice of the Spirit. But if someone is very formed in, in truth and formed in the ways of Christ, formed in the gospel, knows um, it knows the truth, knows the voice of the shepherd, then then we could kind of say that that then one can trust one's gut, one's heart. But discernment is always important in terms of checking everything, as we've said, against, you know, the, the commandments of the church, the teachings of Christ, the, the, the experience of the church, um, etc. And so, you know, the Lord does say that his sheep know his voice and that they do that his sheep does not listen to strangers, that the sheep do not uh, pay attention to to any other voice but Christ's voice. So already Christ is saying in his infallible word that that he's that we must be able to recognize his voice. And so really this scripture is very much a basis of of the whole spiritual life about listening to promptings of the Holy Spirit or being guided by Christ himself, the, the, the supreme shepherd. And so for us, this is very important that the Lord speaks to us and that we must be able to learn this art. And I suppose this is this is the whole art of spiritual hearing, the ability to recognize among the multiple voices in our life that vie for our heart. Remember, a lot of the spiritual life is defending the heart, keeping the heart free from from disorders, from evil inclinations, from from evil voices that come to us from the world, from from so many other sources that, you know, our hearts have to be defended. And so spiritual hearing, developing this spiritual sense of hearing God's voice in the midst of all these multiple voices is really uh, the test of experience and time. So it's a kind of, a, Father Jacques Philippe says, this spiritual hearing is a kind of a loving instinct that makes it easier and easier for us to distinguish the voice of the spouse in the chorus of sounds that greet our ears. He says the Holy Spirit uses for each of us a tone of voice that is his alone. What he means is by this tone of voice is that eventually we come to recognize amongst the little the, the stirrings of our heart, there is a tone from experience that we, we come to realize that's the voice of the Good Shepherd. That's not my voice. That's the voice of the Good Shepherd. But again, experience will prove this to be true. He says it has a particular gentleness and power, purity and clarity which when we are accustomed to hearing it, gives us near certainty in singling it out. Of course, the devil, apping when he can of God's ways, can sometimes try to imitate the voice of the spouse. But if we are truly accustomed to the voice of the spirit, by loving familiarity and by constant pure seeking after God's will, we will easily distinguish that voice, even if it's a good imitation we will know that it sounds wrong in some way and is not the voice of Jesus. And again, this quote by the Good Shepherd, 
the sheep follow me. The sheep follow him for they know his voice. But he said, they will not follow a stranger, but will flee from him for they do not know the voice of strangers. So Heavenly Father, we ask you for the grace to to discern the voice of strangers, those those voices that vie to, to pull us off our path. Lord, help us to have a clear eye of those temptations that come to us, especially in this Advent, that we be focused on your coming moment by moment so that we could be prepared for that final coming in glory or at our death. Heavenly Father, may you pour your blessing upon us as we continue to journey this Advent. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.